I have to say, as I've traveled around the United States and other places in the world discussing Venezuela, a question people ask me a lot is, why is Guaido still free? This is someone who, as, as you mentioned, led a violent military uprising against the government and is encouraging revolt. How do you explain the decision not to arrest Guaido to people on the outside who look at this situation and say, it's absurd? I, I even share that, that vision. You know? Why is he free? But it doesn't depend on the executive branch of power. It depends on the and the judiciary and uh, the citizen power, which is another power in Venezuela, the, the attorney general attorney. But the, the branches of government or of power in Venezuela collaborate. It's uh, one of the principles of our constitution. And I understand that uh, it is not a good idea to give this man more popularity. He is diminishing, he's disappearing by himself. So I think that the decision of the judiciary system has been correct by the results. No? Of course, many of the Venezuelan people and maybe myself, we would have decided something else, maybe from January. But what the Venezuelan institutions have done, you can see it by, by the reality. No? This man doesn't exist anymore.